I am Anil Kumar and here is another excellent question from my subscriber Varun. Varun, thanks a lot for posting this question. It comes just at the right time. When I was thinking about creating a list for a new SAT aspirants, uh, I like to include this in that list. The question here is, the graph of equations y equals to x cubed minus x square plus 3x minus 4 and y equals to ax square minus x minus 4 intersect at exactly two points. Determine the possible values of a. Right. So that's the equation for you. We need to find what a is so that these two graphs, which is a cubic polynomial and the parabola intersect exactly at two points correct you can actually pause your video try it out and then look into my suggestions so the idea is if they intersect the coordinates of a point will be common so let's begin by equating the two equations we have x cubed minus x square plus 3x minus 4 that should be equal to ax square minus x minus 4. So let's bring them to one side and then solve. So we get x cubed minus x square plus 3x minus 4 minus ax square plus x plus 4 equals to 0. Combine the like terms x cubed. Now we can take uh, x square common here. So, so let me write this as uh, minus x square is common. So we have here 1 plus a for x terms 3x plus x is 4x. So we get 4x minus 4 and 4 cancel. So we have this as 0. Correct. Now we can take x common. So you get x square minus x times 1 plus a plus 4 equals to 0. So clearly we have one solution here which is x equals to 0. So that gives you one solution. But we need exactly two. So the second one should come from here, correct? So we got one solution. We'll say the second one should be from this part of the equation, which is x squared minus x times 1 minus 1 plus a plus 4 equals to 0. Clear? Now, we need only one solution from here. That is to be noted. So we need only one, not two. It's a quadratic equation. It could give you two solutions. We need only one from here. Now, how is that possible? Well, I hope you remember. If you have equations like ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, that means you should have b square minus 4ac equals to 0 for one real solution. Or oh, let me write root here. Is that clear to you? So this is the concept which we are going to use now to get the answer. Perfect. So what we are saying here is that we have this equation x square minus x times 1 plus a plus 4 equals to 0. Now here b a is 1 right b is equal to minus 1 plus a and c is equal to 4 right so b square minus 4 ac means 1 plus a whole square minus because negative becomes positive right 4 times a is 1 and c is 4 should be equal to 0 perfect so we get 1 plus a whole square should be equal to 4 times 4 is 16. Correct? So 1 plus a should be equal to square root of 16. Whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. So we get two values plus minus 4. 
So that gives you the value of a as minus 1 plus minus 4. So the two possible values of a could be minus 5 if I take both negative or it could be plus 3. You get an idea, right? So it could be both negative gives you this. 1 plus 4 gives you plus 3. So these are two other values of a which will give you only one solution here. Perfect. So we get our answer that a is equal to 3 or minus 5. Is that clear? So that is how we can actually solve this equation. So the key here is to understand that this part of the equation, the second factor, should have only one solution to give you exactly two points where these two graphs intersect since the first point is at x equals to 0. Does it make sense to you, right? So if you kind of sketch these graphs, one of them may look like this, may look like this, uh, you know, uh, okay, so, so we just, um, I'm just sketching like this, I don't know exactly, but since I know if x is 0, we have minus 4, right, so this point is minus 4, and that is a common point. So the other graph will be kind of a parabola, which will go through this point, minus 4 is one of the solutions, and it could be kind of like this. You see that part? Perfect. So that is how we'll get two points of intersection, which are these two points, depending on the value of A. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. And once again, Varun, thanks for sharing such a beautiful question. All the best.